Hi, this is Chef Ted Pryor from Michael Jordan Steakhouse in New York City. And this afternoon, we're going to make the perfect yellowfin tuna steak. We have here a center cut, beautiful sushi grade yellowfin tuna. Um, what you're looking for is ruby red all the way through, very little white, very little vein. And when you go to your fishmonger, you're just going to ask for that center cut uh, yellowfin tuna. Don't make sure they don't give you the tail. We want the middle. So we're going to make some beautiful slices here, some beautiful steaks, about an inch, inch and a half. You want them thick because you really generally want to cook them rare. If they're too thin, you won't be able to cook them rare. So here we go, about an inch and a half. Straight down. It's a big solid piece of meat, appropriate for almost two people. You can see it's almost perfect color. Now we're going to season very, very simply. Salt and pepper. This is kosher sea salt. Pretty good coating on there. Fresh ground pepper. We ground this before by hand. Get both sides. Don't be afraid. It's not going to be over seasoned. It's a nice, thick cut. Rub it in there. This is just vegetable oil. A little blend of olive oil and canola. You don't want to use only olive oil. It's nice to have the blend for the taste. So just coat on both sides. And we're ready to go to the pan. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a very, very hot pan. Just to the point of smoking. Again, we're going to use, this is blended olive oil and vegetable oil. You'll see the oil is just beginning to smoke. Don't overthink this. It just needs to be a hot pan and a good piece of fish. You're going to sear it to keep all the flavor in and to keep it rare. And just when you see it begin to smoke, that's when you're going to want to put it in. And there it begins to smoke. Now you can hear that. It's really hot. The key here is patience. Once you put a, any, really, any piece of fish into a pan, you need to let it sit there for a minute so the, the skin kind of seals together and it won't stick. And that's really, really important. The other thing you're looking for here is a crust on the fish. You don't want to have a really a pale piece of fish. The flavor is going to come from the outside. You're going to keep it rare on the inside. And so what you get is a nice balance between crust and kind of the really buttery, buttery middle, which is yellowfin tuna, which is why we prize it so much. So you can see with this hot pan, we're already getting a nice little sear on there. It's not quite ready yet. It is producing a fair amount of smoke and you'll know when it's ready to go. As far as the pan itself, you don't want to use Teflon. You could most likely uh, use stainless steel. This is stainless steel. You could use uh, cast iron. Really, really works well. But Teflon, you don't want to do it at a very, very high heat. It's good for some things, but it is not good for high searing. And steakhouse cooking is all about high searing. It really, really is. It's all about heat. So you can see nice color on there. We're going to simply flip it over and do the other side. Now people like obviously like their tuna in different ways. Um, most prefer it rare, rare. So blue in the middle. And that's, you know, that's the next, the next step is if you want to keep on cooking it, you can keep on cooking the pan, go medium rare, medium well done. Today we're going to do it the way I really like it, which is rare, rare. And you can see right there, it's a nice sear, both sides. The oil's not burned, but it's browning. Just move it around, and there you go. Perfectly seared, rare tuna. So what we're going to do, we're going to slice nice big thick pieces like we do in any steakhouse. It's always a large portion, but this is about eight ounces, nine ounces. So this, you're going to slice it, you can serve it easily for two people. Again, I like a nice thick piece you'll see that it just cuts like butter because it's such a good piece of fish. You can see the sear on it. It's rare in the middle. Nice even cut. 
It just doesn't get any prettier than that. So the idea here is you have a uh, perfect piece of fish. You don't want to mess it up. So you sear it, you keep it simple. You can serve with a little bit of soy sauce, maybe a little bit of wasabi, but you don't even really need that. You just need a perfect piece of tuna and don't mess it up. So this is Ted Pryor, Michael Jordan Steakhouse, Grand Central Station. We're about to eat some tuna. <laughs>